Right, I've got a possible job. I hope this is going to work. Uh, for my homemade stupid length boring bar. What we need to do is to bore out some scaffold tube so that we can get the next size down tube to fit inside it. Because they don't standard. The tube sizes are just daft. Um, so yeah. I'm not at all sure how this is going to work because this well, that is sticking out quite a long way. We've, we've got to go 40 millimeters. no not 40 millimeters, 40 centimeters down a piece of tube from each end. It's an 800 millimeter long piece of tube and we're trying to bore it out all the way through so that it will take the um, it's a 48.3 or something outside diameter tube, scaffold tube, and an excise tube down is 42.4 or something like that. So that's what we've got to try and bore it out to. Um, this bar's a bit flexible though, I don't know how we're going to get on with this. I'm just going to try and set it up on centre. And we can see how, how flexible this is. I can just push down on this. You'll see that moving. It's not much but there's a bit of flex there so this might chatter like crazy. We'll find out and uh, yeah I've got to raise the height a bit and then we'll put a bit of tube in there and see how it goes. And of course the other problem you've got when trying to put one tube inside another one, and this you've got a seamless tube, it's got a flipping weld down it. So, yeah, we're just uh, a little trial cut, and it's just knocking the weld off of the minute. So, I think this, it looks like it's working, but that weld is nasty. We haven't got rid of that yet. It's clonk, clonk, clonking as it goes across it. So. And we can see the, we can see the bar moving as it hits the, the weld. But uh, yeah, I think we're getting there. It's going to take forever. Well, wow. that just pushing off. You need really some kind of broaching tool would be better so it could just push straight in along the weld. Just get rid of the weld first. And we are just about starting to cut into the internal diameter of this. Let's give it a one more little pass and then I think we'll call it a day.
Well, that's just starting to go in there. And of course, the other problem is that round tubes are never round. So, this tube that's going in there is tight across one diameter and loose across the other one. Oh dear, what a daft idea. Still the weld is there. I found this little piece of uh, HSS, little HSS tool bit. I've just got a little edge on, on the front, a little cutting lip on the top. So I've got a little bit of a rake ground onto the top there and I've just put a bit of a chamfer either side. So I'm going to use this as a kind of a shaper bit to take the weld seam off the inside of the tube before you actually come to, to turn it. Now that edge is our cutting edge and we're just going to push this into the tube. Right, we can see where the seam is. It's, it's quite visible on the outside of this tube. So, what I need to do is to just rotate this until that's lined up with a tool about, about there. And yeah, we're just gonna wind this uh, wind this through using the carriage. I think I might put this back into gear to stop the thing from rotating. Right. Just gonna take a few goes. That is just coming up and hitting the seam. So let's just give it a push. Oh, watch that push off. But a few goes, and hopefully, this will do something. It won't take it all out, but it should take most of it out. so on and so forth. Well we've not made much impression on that world so far. Uh, looks like I've got looks like I've got a score down here which must be coming off of one of the corners on the boring bar. So I've just ground a bit more clearance on the tall bit, a bit more top rake hoping that it will dig in rather than push off and I put it back, set it out a little bit further 
sticking out this way a bit more. And let's have another go. I feel it trying to bite into the bumps of the weld. So I think this is working better than before. I think I also need to just rotate this a little bit just to make sure I've got all the width of the weld coming off, or at least as much as I can get off. It's always going to push off a little bit, I think. We're not going really to get rid of it all. This is doing something. Well, that actually feels pretty good. It still looks rough, but then I think that's just the nature of the join of the tube where it's made. It feels pretty good, so I think we'll turn this tube round, do the other end. Trying to get the length kind of balanced in the chuck. And I'm trying to get the seam between the jaws as well. too much to take off in one hit, so let's wind it in a bit. Wow, even that. God. A bit lumpy and bumpy to start with. What it feels like is doing something. Yeah, I think so. Still a bump on it there though. Still, still need to wind it out a bit more. Well, that's feeling pretty good in there now. We'll uh, put the boring toilet back in this bar, and uh, yeah, before we start boring it, let's see, uh, let's take this tube out, and chuck, and see how much swarf is actually inside.
after a bit from a well seam. Well, I've just taken a couple of uh, turning passes out of this, and it's turned out that our shaping tool took more out of the weld seam than it needed to. So that actually worked really, really well. Right, a bit more boring required. <laughs> 